so far, but tomorrow night we get to see who the real, the real results. magic is. Yes, is Ron that, is I guess out at Thomas and Mac. Ron? Yeah, we have a chance to confront magic here firsthand about some of the things that he said about the running rebels in this game tomorrow night. Now you've been you've been having some fun with some of the words you've been saying about the rebels and run and gun and that sort of stuff, Magic. You guys gonna put up tomorrow night? Okay. Who are we playing? I believe it's a, it's the oh, rebels. Oh, okay, I, I didn't know who it was. Uh, we here to play. You know, we didn't come to stay. We came to play, and uh, we ready to go. Now, we aspired. We we aspired for Michigan State, MSU. You don't understand that. We're the best running team in the country, not the running rebels. This is a chance, on a sort of serious note, for you guys to get together, have some fun, some old teammates. Have you enjoyed the camaraderie so far? Oh, it's been nice. Anytime you get to be with the guys that uh, uh, either you play with or watch play themselves uh, at Michigan State, it's fun. I, and, uh, you know, they're all pros, so some of them I get to play against already. And um, it's nice to come together. And, uh, you know, they all excited about staying at Caesars and it, the whole thing. It's, it's fun, and we're excited because the fans have supported the game. And it's for a worthy cause, so I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Magic, quickly, tell me what you enjoy most. You, and in the summertime, you play a lot of fun basketball. You do charities. You get serious in the NBA in the wintertime. What do you enjoy most? Well, I enjoy playing basketball, and that's it. Any kind. <laughs> Any no kind. what it is. As long as, hey, round ball and got a net, let's go. All right, Magic Johnson, thank you very much for joining us here live. Of course, Michigan Forget State. Forget the rebel. Forget the rebel. <laughs> Michigan State, you see behind us here, is working out right now, getting ready for tomorrow's game. We have heard that Sam Vincent, Sam and Jay Vincent, will not be able to make the game because Sam is not going to get out of his contract uh, with the Boston Celtics to be able to play. They're not going to let him play. Uh, an interesting note for the Rebels, they will have Anthony Jones playing in tomorrow night's game, along with all the Rebel, Rebel regulars that we've seen in the past. So basketball is on everybody's mind tomorrow night when they play. Baseball was on most folks' minds last night in Milwaukee County Stadium as Paul Molitor went for game number 40 in his consecutive game hitting streak. Of course, it fell just one hit short. He came up in the eighth inning with, um, the streak in the game with a chance to, he was 0 for 3 so far in the game, with a chance here to run a streak to uh, 40 games, and he hits a ground ball to uh, Jacoby, and the ball is bobbled by Tabler at first. He was safe. The, uh, the call was an error on Tabler at first. It was really an easy call to make. No question about it. It was an error on Tabler. But then there was also a chance in the 10th inning, a possible chance with uh, Molitor on deck right there and the game winning RBI came in the 10th inning and the fans actually booed because Milwaukee won the game but Molitor didn't get a chance to extend his streak. There can be this, some distortion of priorities when the home team wins a game in extra innings and the crowd goes silent so there was a lot of congratulations going on for Rick but before I knew it I was I was feeling literally hugs from several teammates. And the Cubs and Braves today in Wrigley Field. Dale Murphy, you see that shot there to left field, hit his 35th home run against the win there. The Braves uh, win game one of the doubleheader, 5-2. to two. They are playing the second game right now. And the Stars need uh, another win tonight at Cashman Field. They have clobbered the Dukes 11-4 to four last night. Mark Parent knocking in a run right there. The Stars are just one game out of first place. They are behind Phoenix and Tucson. Phoenix and Tucson, by the way, are playing each other right now. Only six games left in the season, so the Stars need some wins. The game time is 7.05 tonight at Cashman Field. Now, a guy in Salt Lake City has this rather interesting idea of how you can get around. I, I don't know, you folks who go out and vote at Lake Mead on occasion may want to take a look at this rather interesting idea. It's called a hydrofoil, and uh, what it does, it works on air, blowing air down uh, onto the surface of this hydrofoil is, is what it's called. The thing, it costs about 5000 bucks. All-terrain vehicle, it can go over land, over water, as you see there, over snow. It goes about 40 miles an hour, and I figure, I don't know, it might be good for bass fishing also. Uh, they, they got that big fan in the back that blows the air down. Uh, I don't know. It, I don't think it'll replace jet skiing or snowmobiling, but sure looks a lot of fun out there anyway. Uh, if we can't get a shot behind me here, let's take a look at the Michigan State team practicing back here at the Thomas and Mac. We are live down here seeing some of the uh, formation that they've got to put together. That's a lot of layups. Looks like they're missing a lot of them right now, huh? But uh, those that are here, Scott Skiles, you see him down there in the uh, yellow shirt with the uh, white pants. Greg Kelser is here. He is in the orange. Magic Johnson, you can spot him, uh, no doubt about it, in the white t-shirt there. Also, Kevin Willis, although he's not at the practice right now, he is going to be here. So it ought to be a pretty darn good game between the Rebels and Michigan State. 
Kevin is here? He has arrived. Okay, Kevin's out there now, they tell me. In the, uh, in the, uh, he's in the all-white out there. Um, ought to be a pretty good game tomorrow night. Run and gun, shooting all like crazy for the Rebels taking on Michigan State. Now, Michigan State won the national championship back in 1979 with a few of these players. Magic, of course, was on that team at the time when he played Larry Bird for the championship, Indiana State against Michigan State. So there is uh, some great basketball history for the Michigan State Spartans, and we'll see how they match up against Rebel basketball history tomorrow night right here in this arena, the Thomas and Mac. Stephen Paula? Okay, Ron, and uh, by the way, in case they need anything, they can always utilize the uh, hydrofoil to run and gun down the uh, down the road there. That's not a bad idea. I think no. that thing would work. It, no. it should work on the Thomas and Mack terrain, I would think, huh? Yeah, well, they need that <laughs> to beat the running rebels anyway. Okay, Ron. Thanks, Ron. Take care.